computers soon control the music industry? I'm Erin Jacobson, known as the Music Industry Lawyer. Today's hot topics in the music industry are more about data and payments than sex, drugs, and rock and roll. As I've previously discussed, payments to songwriters, musicians, and the companies that represent them are unfairly low. But another part of the problem is the data that actually manages who is getting paid for these works. Today, digital music relies on metadata, things like copyright owners, ISRC codes, ISWC codes, matching proper compositions with their recordings, etc., etc. The list goes on. Currently, we don't have a really good system in place for managing all this data and matching the compositions with the recordings. Also, a lot of the data that is out there is incorrect due to either human error, lack of communication, people not actually knowing what shares they own, things like that. There's been a long-standing argument that we need a centralized database for all of this information. And there have been previous efforts to build databases, but they've failed. Now significant attention has been focused on using blockchain technology to create a database of all the music rights. Blockchain is on a decentralized system. It's difficult to hack. The data is encrypted. It allows for smart contracts and it allows for micropayments. However, in my opinion, we do need a centralized body to govern this database and make sure that the data being put into the database by users is actually correct. And despite the fact that blockchain has the ability for micropayments direct to rights owners, the technology needs to be implemented in such a way that it works with our current infrastructure of music representatives, publishers, performance rights organizations, companies like that, because it's really the human element that not only drives the relationships between the business, but the relationships between rights owner and representative. And it's the people that make sure artists get paid and writers get paid, not just a computer technology. So while blockchain does have its advantages, again, it needs to be implemented in such a way that it complements our current infrastructure. If we can do that, then maybe we have a solution. For more information on this topic, you can read my article, the link is below, and visit my website at themusicindustrylawyer.com for more information or to contact me. I'm Erin Jacobson, known as The Music Industry Lawyer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another music industry topic.